This webinar will be presented by Dr. Fuji Bayashi. He's the Director of Molecular Imaging at the National Institute of Radiological Sciences in Shiba, Japan. The title of this uh, webinar is Making Hypoxic Metabolism Visible for Capra 64 ATSM Treatment Using Simultaneous PET and SPECT Imaging. This slide uh, gives you a uh, short uh, uh, description of uh, Dr. Uh, Fujibayashi's objective with the experiment and uh, was using to evaluate the the CAPRA-64 ATSM agent as a potential targeted treatment of hypoxic uh, tumors. Since both vascular supply and hypoxic regions are closely interrelated, the team to decide that simultaneously visualize the effect of their candidate treatment on both vascularity and uptake in the hypoxic regions. This uh, allowed them to investigate in detail if their uh, therapy had effect, which is further described in his presentation. I'd like to start my talk from this white copper. Uh, because uh, copper is an essential trace element working at the center of the redox enzymes in our body so that it can be a good core for imaging and therapeutic drugs. Second, many kappa complexes have been reported and molecular design was considered to be easy. Third, there are various copper radionuclides not only for PET diagnosis, but targeted radiation therapy. Uh, these are the data using copper 62, uh, especially uh, useful for the uh, PET diagnosis. But there is another copper uh, radionuclide, copper uh, 64. It has a rather long half life of the almost half days, and it emits, of course, positron, just 20%, but also, also emits beta minus electrons, 40%, also uh, Roger, uh, OJ electrons by electron capture. So for positron, it can be used as a monitoring of the drug concentration in the tissue as well as side, region of side effect. And OJ and electrons for radi internal radiation therapy. And actually, the Jason Ruiz, my collaborator at the Center Ruiz, already confirmed that copper 64 ATSM is effective for tumor treatment. But uh, we consider that combination with, for example, bevacizumab, it's an inhibitor of the tumor angiogenesis, makes uh, more effective for copper ATSM therapy. This is the treatment protocol in uh, HT29 tumor-bearing nude mice using the technetium HSA for the blood pool imaging and copper ATSM in hypoxia imaging. We injected these two traces into the same animal simultaneously and obtained this image using uh, animal spect PET CT. In uncontrolled, untreated control group, as you can see, the uh, higher blood pool was uh, shown in this red color, and opposite to this uh, high blood pool, the, uh, the high copper ATSM was obtained, visualized here. And this is the merged image. But when we treat these animals with bebash tumab on day 21, uh, as you can see that blood pool was more, less, than the untreated control. And corresponding to this less blood pool uh, conditions, the capillaritis accumulation was higher than the untreated group. So this means this is a direct indication of the delivery of the therapeutic radionuclides into tumors, in, especially in region of hypoxic metabolism. And corresponding to this selective delivery to hypoxic region I mean, uh, oh, delivery, uh, this is the uh, control is, control is here, uh, blue line is control. And 
uh, caporetism, uh, seven day injection, and day 21 injection did not show any effect, but bevacizumab shows a uh, uh, slow grown up of the tish, uh, tumors. And when we inject both into the mouse, bevacizumab treatment induced the delivery of the radioactive, radioactive material into the tumors more. As a result, it shows the highest effects in uh, tumor growth. So, the of treatment with copper 60 poetism showed greater inhibition of tumor growth compared to the Bevastinum alone group. So, this is a summary of this work. At the, from the imaging study with technetium HSA and copper ATSM, Bevastinum treated HT29 tumors showed reduction of vascularity and increased proportion of hypoxic areas with tumors. And in vivo treatment study showed that caporetism therapy effectively enhanced anti-tumor effects in tumors with bevacizumab induced vascular decrease and hypoxia. So it can be an additional treatment to anti-angiogenic therapy. Now, our copper 64 ATSM as a seronostic drug is now moving to clinical trial under collaboration with NIRS and a pharmaceutical company.